Hi guys, I'm Exit Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Airport CEO. Okay, so in between episodes, I actually fixed up the runway section. So it's dark now. It's between days. We'll we've I've got a pretty full schedule day for the for tomorrow. Um, so let's have a look. So what I've done is I've extended the runways. I've got our departure runway. Let's uh, slow this right down because I want to do some building during the night too. Let's pause it. So I've uh, I have our departures runway where it is. I've extended it a little bit, and so this is our taxiway towards the departures route. Okay, so from all gates, you can now get to the departure route to get to the departure runway. The arrival runway runs in here, and you can go to all gates using the preferred arrival taxiway. Okay, so it's still not one way set up completely, so um, or something like that. So I can't fully. I would have loved to make these little sections one way, but anyway, can I do that? Not yet. Uh, I think I found what was the issue with our routing. The fact that I had these holding points in the mean uh, in the middle of the taxiway meant that these guys were heading towards the first uh, the first uh, holding point, regardless of whether there were other routes. It was actually routing from the runway to the holding point. So that's why I'm moving by moving the holding point over here. They route to the holding point and then they route to their uh, to their respective uh, gates. Okay, so in this episode, all of the construction is completed. I've still got the 102 contractors ready to go. But in this episode, what I want to do is I want to focus on well, first thing I want to I want to focus on the layout of our new terminal building, terminal B, the new one, and I want to also have a look at how the operation now works with uh, with the new setup. I've, I've checked it on a few flights and it looks to be fine. But I've got a full day scheduled for today, so we'll see how that goes. So let me switch it on on slow, and we'll start talking about how we're going to lay out this um, this terminal. So as I've mentioned in some of the previous episodes, I want to do more baggage bays, and I want to do more baggage clam carousels, and I probably want to do a little bit less uh, chicken desks, and I want to do a much much bigger um, a much much bigger staff room. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start out by putting a nice big staff room in here. So grab the wall and let's do something like this. A nice big staff room. Uh, maybe like so. Right, I think that'll be fine. Um, is there there is some some walk walkability areas over there so I might give these guys the ability to walk straight across to the other side not sure we uh, maybe on that side I don't know we'll have a look have a bit of a look I don't want it to be too huge though I'd rather it be something like that and then we squeeze our our chicken desks over here and we might actually do two arrangements of chicken desks. So let's do something like this and something like that. That is at least much bigger than the previous one. Okay. So that's our staff room right over there. Now what I want to do is I actually want to do our chicken desks up and down this corridor over here. So let's grab the items. So how many chicken desks do we have over here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I've got twenty-two chicken desks. I can definitely not fit in twenty-two chicken desks over here. Um, but let's see how many we can indeed fit in here. And I think so what I want to do as an arrangement swap these around. I want to do something like this as check-in desks. Am I going to squeeze them next to each other? Actually, let's squeeze them next to each other. And we have got a much longer room for actual... Yeah, actually, that's what I want to do. So let's pop them in there. Uh, what is going on? Do I actually have to... Hang on. Yeah, something's wrong over here. Let's take that out. Oh my goodness, something has been... There's some kind of bug. Can I get rid of this in any way, shape or form? 
Oh, and immediately we're off to a great start with the bugginess. Oh my goodness. Anyway, let's uh, grab those chicken discs again. Let's try if I do that on top of it. There we go. No, we still have an issue over, the, uh, over there. Let's take that out. Is that an issue? Let's, let's just get it built. Maybe if we build it, it'll all be fine. Okay, so how many do I have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, yes, we potentially have a lot less chicken desks here. Only 9 as compared to the 22 we have on that side. Uh, so, I'm kind of wondering, maybe this isn't the greatest thing to do. Let's uh, take them all out. Um, and I want to get rid of that. So what I want to try and do now is maybe what we'll do is we'll do a similar arrangement like this, but up and down over here. Because I think if we can get like 18 in here, that would be quite good. Uh, but maybe... Maybe if we do 2, 2, 2, 2, 2... Yeah, but it's not going to have a lot of queuing space in there. I want to do up, up along that section. Hmm, what is the alternative? If we... Let's pause it. I don't want to get this built. So maybe the alternative is we build this entire section here. Then we do a little bit of a... Ah, but the staff room. Anyway, then we do a little bit of a staff room. I speak staff room over there. Then we do security, but then they'll have to walk back to go through security. Hmm, that's an interesting one. It's an interesting one. I'm wondering about this layout. So security arrangements. So I want to do something similar, but we're wasting a lot of space over here. And especially with this time, we don't have anything. We can actually have the guys walk straight up there and run security in this corner. Uh, hmm, how many did we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven or eight of them over here. All right, yeah, that's probably just about going to fit in 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 this section. Okay, and then they funnel through there. So what I'm kind of wondering is if we don't just yeah, but we're still not going to get like sixteen of them in there unless we yeah okay fine. What I'm going to do is actually grab this. I'm very un indecisive about it, so let's uh, do that, and uh, let's do that, and uh, actually let's just take it out completely. So what I'll do is I'll make this a fair bit bigger in this general direction, so something like that, and like that. So if we do that as our staff room, so that's at least say about two and a half to three times, maybe let's do it a little bit more like that and like that. So that's at least three times the size. And now, oh, this thing pisses me off over here. Now what I want to do is I want to do this arrangement where I want to run it down here and I think that's going to be sufficient. So let me grab my chicken desks. I want to actually, let me get, oh, sorry guys, I'm uh, a little bit indecisive here. So if we say uh, we're going in the middle. So how, do we know how long that is? We have no idea how long that is. Um, how can I... I think this will give me a, a... Flooring will give me an indication of the size. So that is 40, 42. So... Hang on. That is 42 over there. Okay. So after 21, if you hear, this is like the center line right there. And uh, now I'm not going <laughs> to... Uh, crazy. 20, hmm? 27, 21... Okay, so that's our center line right over there. So let me grab my items. Well, it's not exactly center, but let me grab these items and we will run them like this. I'll leave about four space over there. See how that goes. And then, oh, actually, they're the wrong way around. Flip, flip them around like that. And we'll get them nice and tight. 
nice and tight and I think that's going to be about it then on the other side we'll do the same thing we'll get them nice and tight over here again yeah and yeah so how much is that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that's twenty so that's twenty that's a much nicer and tighter in uh, arrangement that we've got over here what I can do is I can have some screens and an info desk so grab me my info desk right over here so how does that work info desk uh, something like that okay we'll do that and we'll run out belts and things like that over there we'll get some screens uh, give me my screens like so and like so we have some screens if you arrive uh, we'll have a look I might do some seating I'm not too sure how and where I'll do that though there's not a lot of room so we don't have this kind of room over here to do the seating this will be all queuing uh, but we might do a nice big seating arrangement over here okay then the next thing we're gonna do is we will do security checkpoints uh, and I'm gonna start it off with a small security checkpoint okay we need a secure area right must be placed in a secure zone so grab the secure zone um, the secure zone will be a five corridor through there and then we'll do we'll we'll change it as we see fit at a later stage but that is the secure zone for this terminal so I actually want to funnel people through in that direction so I'm gonna put my security in here so grab my items give me my small security okay so that one goes in there actually I'm kind of wondering if I don't actually have it straight out of the staff room I think that'll be quite cool if we do it straight out of the staff room uh, can I can I build it through there probably can't need to get uh, get rid of that piece of wall so grab the wall get rid of the three space in the wall there and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with my small security right over here okay so guys will be able to move from from the uh, from the staff room straight into the secure environment um, are we gonna allow the guys to exit into here too security zone exit Ooh, that is major if if anything no, I don't think we need to I don't think we need to do that because then yeah I think this is fine they'll just they'll just funnel through that way okay now larger security checkpoints uh, or shall we do another small one out here right I think that is probably better so now at least we've got both from inside and outside or shall we do go straight into the large ones and start plopping them in there security yeah let's do that let's start plopping these big boys one two three four five six seven that's how many we have on that side right Yeah, I'm kind of thinking we'll stick with the seven for now. It's going to be a nice big waiting area. Actually, what we'll do is let's go with the eight. All right, so that's our security arrangement. That's fine. They can all go through there. Give me some doors. Um, I'll grab this. Give me some medium-sized doors for this area. Do one over there one cent uh, actually that's not what we want to do let's do yeah let's just do like two doors let's just do one door over here and one door somewhere over there yeah I think where it is is fine now give me the wall pop that back in there and we'll do that so that is the start of our chicken area so this is check in this is security funnel into the security channel let's go straight into the gates areas over here uh, we do not have bathrooms 
we do not have bathrooms planned and I don't think we need bathrooms planned out too crazily this area can do well for a secure area bathroom we can run a bathroom in here two bathrooms in here and at the same time what we can do is we can do the bathrooms on the exiting movement on this side I think that's better instead of this uh, this arrangement we've got over there so that area over there would have been a good spot for it I think that's fine now how are we getting in and out of this so let's get the wall um, so I'm thinking we do a bit of duty free on this side so we have inbound on that side outbound on this side yeah and let's get our items so give me the secure zone exits so what I'm thinking is we do well we can do a similar arrangement where we have it actually through duty free the duty free section so let's do shall we do another one now I think that's fine we really don't need another so let's do the wall okay and how much do we have let's get the flooring flooring method done again so let's see how much else what's the size of this 31 so that means row 16 is actually the center over there so give me the wall uh, run it like that so that's the center line okay and I might do ooh, well let's just start with a little one like that to see how that works and I'm kind of thinking I want to really get these guys to walk through some some duty free okay so what we'll do is give me the uh, items so let me give them the secure zone exits it's about center over there alternatively we'll do this alternatively we'll do this so we can have okay actually what I'll do is I'll extend the secure zone a little bit let me extend the secure zone a little bit to there Okay, and we'll put the exits on here so we have a room for duty free over there and over there and we still have bathrooms over there and it's not too, too big a mess yeah I think that's good that's good so give me some walls again and now let's run like that and like this as walls now give me those items those secure zone exits oh perfect run them through like there perfect so that's our secure zone exits this will be some more duty free shops and stuff so let's grab let's get a let's do the shop on this side alright so let's do a shop over here and let's do food on this side okay and now what I'll do is so that's so now that's food so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do food so if we do something actually we're struggling with that piece over there actually mm -hmm. So what we'll do is let's do a kind of a smaller one. We'll do a smaller one like this. Actually, we probably need it at least like that. And we'll do a similar. Uh, actually, we'll do a similar on that side. And then what we'll do is we'll make them a little bit bigger like that and um, like that so let's do something like that so now grab the other areas we're now looking for shop areas on this side we'll do a bit of a shop like that like that and like that so that's our shop layouts 
Okay, um... Nice, I like that kind of setup. It's a little bit smaller than this, actually. That's quite interesting. I would not quite notice that I've done that smaller. We'll see. Maybe we'll consolidate this into bigger ones. Maybe we'll take this all the way out, but I actually want to do a little bit more of a baggage claim area over here. And then this area could be a lot of kind of seating in there. Yeah, I think I like the idea, the general idea of doing that. Okay, that's pretty good. So there's a lot of the, lot of stuff for them to work on. So let's uh, let's get this going. So you guys can actually see some flights get coming in too. So let's uh, speed that up a lot. These guys can start building building away at this. Yeah, stuff's being delivered. Guys are doing their thing. Kind of wondering if I shouldn't actually let's let's make a bit of a door over here. Let's grab that. Let's get the, uh, the medium door, and we will pop it right in there. Yeah, yeah. Now they can actually get in and out much quicker. Not the walking distance isn't crazy anymore. Excellent. Everything is being built r lickety split over here. Very quickly getting all of that built oh uh, actually 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 employees deactivate employees deactivate employees deactivate employees deactivate I don't want any of this working just yet deactivate deactivate and employees and deactivate this is not passengers but we will also deactivate it. Do is, does any of this need to be activated? Yeah, let's deactivate all of these. Don't want any of this to be activated. Deactivate, deactivate. They should actually not be built in an activated state, I feel. Because you still need to do the queuing and you still need to do the connection. So really, building them in an activated state is probably not a good idea. Let's deactivate all of that, and that, and that, because it's using my airport staff. This, uh, this one, no, I want the info desk. Can I click the info desk? I cannot. So the new terminal does have info desk ready and available. Okay, let's, uh, let's see about keep building this. But anyway, that's all fine. This is like, truly building this at the rapid pace. That's good. So the flights are will start to come in soon. And we'll have a quick look at the operation before we end this episode. But yes, and then in the next episode we will continue with this. We obviously need the bathrooms in here. Actually, let's start doing that quickly while we wait for the flights. So give me some walling. What was our typical size? These bathrooms up here, I think, was a pretty good size. We don't want them to be too huge. So it's like 10. 10 by 5. 10 by 5 is probably a good idea for us. So let's do... Let's do... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Something like that. By 5. Is that 5? Yeah, that's about right. So if we do the bathrooms... Like that, those are the bathrooms over here. We'll build the bathrooms, same thing on this side. We'll give that a bit of room, so something like that, and then like that. Ooh, that might be too much actually. Let's uh, start it over here. Okay, so two, four, six, eight. 10, run that through there, 2, 4, 6, uh, 8, 10, let's do just, let's just do that, okay, something like that, those are the bathrooms on the secure side of things, It's maybe not perfect, but it's. I think it's good enough. Okay, so we've got some flights coming in. 
that's making use of this going to the right side over there the issue we had previously we've got a flight coming in let's slow this down a little bit actually probably not coming in yeah making the maneuver going to the other side more flights coming in we don't have flights overshooting anymore we've well, that's great I love that the fact that we've got this up and running now there's a lot happening over here as you can see money streaming in lots of people hanging around can we add a queue to this thing yet no we cannot got our flights coming in everywhere there's a flight leaving so it's going in that direction you see there's no conflict between the incoming flights and the exiting flights just yet uh, the pushback for these are quite a far far back so they go all the way back so that that's the easier route for them to take it's not guaranteed but that's generally what we're after some more flights coming in that direction coming to one of these tons of cash coming in it's almost not making it it's almost not making a blip in our money to build this terminal and to fully fit it out and things like that so I, I like that I like that yeah those have been built we can actually do the bathrooms over there at some point so yeah this area over here is going to be our baggage claim yes not sure how something something like that area over there will be baggage claim this area will be seating and that'll be queuing to go through security is that not deactivated yeah it is just not showing up that's okay lots of planes all the stands Ooh, that's an interesting one so I don't like that maneuver so if I could have made this section one way and that section one way and that section and that section one way we wouldn't have this issue we need to make this one way and uh, that whether that's that that will always operate as one way as long as that little section is one way and this little section is one way one way no anyway if you don't do one way that way too those kind of things so these short sections we needed to make one way but apart from that it's working quite well how's the baggage bag doing We've got some ramp agents hanging around the baggage bays are being used at that plane getting ready to take off so yeah we've got tons of capacity now ooh ooh, ooh they're kind of messing each other up a little bit over there should get that going go go fine a little bit of bugginess on the path thing is not the end of the world as long as we can have it done in general quite well I probably need to do a round of repairs over here now they're looking pretty good still okay all of that's happening nice so the operation generally looks quite smooth with the flights coming in and out and we're trying we're getting as good a one-way operation as we can possibly do without actually having one-way taxiway nodes but yeah this works quite well so that's the one coming in there this one's going out that way nice two-directional traffic they do do a little bit of uh, well that's perfect that's actually a perfect way of doing it this one's running in making its way that way it's 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 really good I really like it this one is backing up all the way over there making a move up there again no conflicts whatsoever this is uh, the setup is really working well the double taxiways with the almost one-way operation really works quite well and I'm kind of keen to see how we do it with this terminal building over here yeah so do we'll do we'll do a nice big baggage claim area a nice big baggage claim area something like this yeah that's going to be pretty good but guys that is it for this episode we will continue building our terminal b in the next episode uh, I'm Exact Chaos and this has been Airport CEO. As always, I would appreciate you hitting that like button if you did enjoy this series or this episode and subscribe so you don't miss new ones. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.